welcome to another video. Today we're fixing this record player right here. It is the Mariantis TT451. The problem with this thing is the arm keeps on staying in one place. It's supposed to move towards the center, but it's not doing that. And it's playing the same thing over and over again. Also, we have the problem that even if it's connected to the amplifier, it has no signal. So it's very faint sounds and it's just constantly playing the same thing. So now we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna find the screws. We're gonna unscrew it and we're gonna try to find what's blocking this arm from moving and why is there no signal to the amplifier. So first things first, we have to unplug it from the power so we don't get shocked by electricity. So now we found the screws. There's one here, 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 here. We won't be unscrewing these because they're probably from the leg. So they're not, they're just gonna give it and make us spend extra time. So now we have to unscrew them. Make sure to put the screws where you can find them all later. Okay. I think we can lift now. It doesn't want to open, so we're going to see if these screws that are in the legs, and we'll see if we can, um, we're going to unscrew them too, and we're going to see if it gives us a different... everything out of the underside it wouldn't budge so we just had to take off this plastic and then we and then this metal disc that was under it and so we found that we need to unscrew these three screws right here and we might be able to access it To get further access to the arm, we need to unscrew this right here. Pull it out, pull it out. This is really new for me, that there are like these little systems controlling this, but I think we found that, that it, there is supposed to be this loose right here because it seems as if it's supposed to be like almost like a train. It's supposed to go here to move the arm to the next thing. And here's the motor for the, for the arm. And then here is where all the signals go from the needle. That's pretty interesting. All right, so the problem with this was we just had to do a couple of minor adjustments with a Phillips screwdriver to these screws and it ended up to be moving. And due to the signal problem, we had to get this special amplifier that has specific um, plugs for a, or for a record player. And now it sounds really good. See, now it moves by itself, and it's fixed. All right, 
right, so now we're gonna put it all back together. First, we're gonna um, first you're gonna want to put um, the top back on, and now you're gonna want to put this in. So you just have to kind of put it here in and slide it in. Get your screw. You can use your hand first, just to kind of you know get it in there. Get your screwdriver and put it in. I also can tighten this one a bit. Well, the hardest part is to get the ones that are over here. I got it. Find it in. That's one. Make sure when you're doing this, make sure you have a screwdriver that has a magnet on the tip, so it's easier to put the put the screws down. Like like if you miss it here, you can kind of get use your magnet to put it up. Okay. So now we put it on and insert. I think I got it. It's it. Final one. Make sure it's all down so it doesn't. Now they're all together. Now the ones that are right here, you can put them in. Make sure they're secured. Get a screwdriver. Just kind of put them in. Let me put the other one in. Maybe this one will be better, more precise. And just tighten it. Okay, so those are tightened. So you put all the screws in. You get your belt and the first disc, which is probably going to be the metal one. You're going to put it on. Make sure it's, it's like all evenly done make sure it doesn't snap make sure it's all made well and I'll make sure to tighten it so when you flip it it won't fall and then you drop it in and you put it around the conveyor you're gonna have to press down a bit here to make sure it's in place and then your plastic make sure it's the right side up and where you have this little rectangle you put this triangle I mean this triangle that's sticking out right here you put it on top and there you go and now let's see if it spins so click play the arm goes in and it's spinning evenly nice And now, when we have to get the screws that are on the bottom to not break the arm, you're gonna have to get your cover. You're gonna go around. And then, you're just gonna have to kind of slide it in. Perfect, as you can see. And you drop it down. Make sure it's secure. All right. Make sure it's nice and all right. So I think we'll first start off with the legs. We can put them back on. Hold it down. Our screwdriver. Put the next, the final one in. Okay, now let's put the screws in in the correct areas. So first one, let's put it in right here. It's cute. And don't fasten it all the way because if one side is like really like all the way and one side really isn't, it can it can risk breaking. So you just kind of want to fasten it and you'll tighten it and you'll 
tighten it at the end. The next one. Sometimes need to get the magnetic one to redo it. It falls in perfect. If it falls in, it's perfect. Now we're just making sure all the screws are tight so nothing fall so so the bottom doesn't fall out. They're all tight. So it works. It's a bit louder because we connected it to the guitar amplifier, but we we found the problem. It's either the needle here that isn't that it isn't the one for this specific model, or you just need the special amplifier to make it sound better. So there you have it. How to find the problem sometimes to a Marinatis TT451. Please consider liking and subscribing. Till the next video, goodbye.